My name is Jeep Barnett, I'm a video game programmer, and sometimes aspiring developers will ask me what's something that they can do other than school, or in addition to school, to get better at making games, and, or to be more employable. Um, and I think one of the best ways to get better at making games is to make games, which um, is kind of intuitive and it kind of sucks and it's also kind of awesome. Um, but basically, um, a lot of the things that you need to know about making games, you'll only learn from making them and making lots of mistakes and making lots of bad games. And by going through the process of making a game, you'll start to learn all the things that you don't know, and then you'll be able to figure out how to get better at those things. Um, so, uh, so one of the best ways to, to start that process, I guess, is to think about making very, very small games um, that you can finish in a very short amount of time and just kind of put them in front of people, whether it's uh, people you know, like friends and family, or just putting them on the internet um, usually through like independent game forums like TIG Source or Congregate or things like that, just getting them in front of people and getting feedback from people who play the game so that you can learn, you know, what types of things you need to do better. Um, often that'll be stuff like just being able to communicate well with the player about, um, like, w what is, what is your game about? How do you play it? How do the different elements in your game interact with each other? Um, and being able to communicate that well to the player. And, um, that's, that's really the basic thing is just getting it in front of people, seeing what people think, and then getting better at the things that you're not doing well. Um, so yeah, think small. Think of, basically, um, if, if you think, if you have an idea for a game that you think will take about a month, uh, it's probably going to take about a year. So instead, think about a game that you think will take maybe two days, and then it'll take about a month. And so, uh, so think very, very small and just, just try to get something done. Um, you know, if, if you don't feel like you have an idea for a game that will only take two days to make, um, or, you know, a very small amount of time, then just try to think of existing games to copy just as a start, just so you can get familiar with that process. So, you know, make a breakout or make a Tetris or make a Pac-Man or, you know, just something really basic, really classic, something well-defined that lots of people have done um, so that, you know, you're kind of working in a known space. <laughs> and then, like, once you get better, it's sort of those really simple, like, copying of a game. Um, you can try to modify those and make them your own, or you can try to come up with something entirely original. Um, but still, try to think small, because if the first few things that you do end up taking several months or several years, it'll be several months or several years before you get that initial wave of feedback from players actually playing the game and learning about all the things you're doing wrong. <laughs> and so it's sort of like... You'll just spend a lot of time getting to the point where you can finally get some information about the things you need to know, rather than doing that several times in short bursts. Um, so yeah, it, um, if you want to make a game, um, I definitely recommend uh, not starting from scratch. Um, so either find an existing engine out there, um, there's a bunch of different ones, um, you know, there's there's like game maker tools and RPG Maker, and there's uh, there's Unity, and there's uh, all all these other things that exist. Um, so start there, or um, m maybe even better, start with modding tools. So take the Source Engine, or take the UDK, or take any of those other engines. Even if it's something like, you know, take Civilization and do a mod for that, or take uh, you know, t take whatever first-person shooter and make maps for that, or, 
you know, just things like that. Or, or make a new weapon for Day of Defeat or for Killing Floor or whatever. Um, so doing a mod for a game is really cool because you you really constrain the amount of work you have to do to something very small. Um, and you learn a lot from kind of all all the code that's around what you're working with. So as you're working on your gun for Killing Floor, you'll learn a lot more about how that engine works and how um, how the rocket launcher works and how the chainsaw works. And you kind of start learning from a lot of existing code um, and, you know, from, from people who are professionals and have been doing it for years. So you start to kind of um, get an idea of how their patterns in game design and in code work. Um, the other thing that's great about mods is uh, there's already an install base of, you know, however many thousands of players play the original game. Um, essentially, that number of people is the audience for your mod. So you, you already have people with expectations and people um, who are interested in that universe and in that gameplay who will be interested in, in playing what you've made in your mod. Um, so I think that's, that's the major suggestion. Just by going through the process of shipping games and shipping mods and things like that, you'll get better. And um, by getting better, you'll become more employable or more able to, you know, start your own company or, uh, you know, you'll just, you'll just learn things that you needed to know that make you better in school or, you know, wh whatever your major goals are, um, you know, you can actually start making money too. Like, instead of just throwing the stuff you're making on forums, like, uh, throw your stuff on iOS or throw it in Xbox Live Indie Games or, um, you know, throw it on Desura or throw it on, uh, what, what's the other one? Mod, mod database or, you know, whatever. So you can get your stuff out there and you can actually start making money off of it, which is, that's cool too. Um, uh, but you'll definitely learn a lot through that process. Um, so that's about all I have to say about that. Thanks for listening.